So Rory, we're here in the fairway bunker. We have 154 yards. Yeah. What do you think it's playing? So it's 154 downwind. It's probably playing like 145. And so if you weren't in this fairway bunker, it'd be a wedge all day long? Yeah, it'd be just a nice wedge. So in a fairway bunker, what's your first process? It's one. It's a 145 shot. 145 shot. Um, I always think like a fairway bunker shot never goes quite as long as a, a shot off the fairway. Um, even, you know, if you make a full swing at it and try to hit it, it always, I feel like it always goes like half a club to a club shorter anyway. Yeah. So, but I think in fairway bunkers, something that I do that I think a lot of guys do, I always, I always grip down. I always choke down on the club just to guarantee the strike. Yeah. Because one of the things that if I were to have a bad habit in the fairway bunker, sometimes like I drive a lot with my lower body and then it just, I, I can get a little steep and then not quite clip it and, and catch it flat. So I guess two things for me in the fairway bunker is I, I choke down in the club and I try to make my lower body as quiet as possible. Okay. So that's the, that's the two things. Um, ball position? Ball position, I mean, it doesn't really change Looks that much. Looks pretty standard yeah, there. Yeah, pretty standard. I don't, I don't try to get it back to try to get the ball first, or I, I just sort of standard, but just choke up a little bit and just try to clip it off the top. Yeah, so yeah, keeping the lower body still, you're just trying to stay on top of it more. Trying to, to stay get... on, yeah, try, yeah, definitely trying to stay on top of it more. I mean, if I were to hit a normal nine iron, I'd maybe turn behind it a bit. I'd maybe just try to, yeah, as you said, like maybe just stay on top of it. How restricted does your lower body feel? It feels a little bit. I mean, I, I, my lower body is quite restricted on the way back anyway. I don't really, I get into my right hip a little bit, but not that much, but it's almost, it's on the way, it's on the way through. You know, it's, I'm not going to really like open up and drive. I'm going to just try to play it a little more flat footed. How about a uh, follow through? Do you adjust that? Do you shorten yeah, it a little? So I, sh I do, but I think it has to be shorter because the lower body isn't letting your upper body fully, fully yeah. release. And you're using more finish. club. Yes. Would I'm, you, I mean, it, you would always take more club out of a fairway bunker. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Always. It just, you know, you can swing a little smoother at it to guarantee the strike. Yeah, I, the one thing I hate in a fairway bunker is trying to hit it hard because then you could lose your footing or you could, and it just, it just, there's too much risk involved with trying to hit it hard out of a fairway bunker. I'll always try to take one more club and just hit it smooth. Cool. Let's give it a shot. All right. Certainly clipped it. You clipped it. She turned out okay. Did okay. Try another one. You're talking a lot, so. Restricted lower body, choke up, smooth. Smooth. There we go. Perfect. We're in the front of this bunker. There's not a huge lip, but a little bit of a lip. Yeah. You got an upslope, so you got a few factors here. You got 150 you know, yards, probably yep. playing 140, 142. Yeah. Um, you probably would hit wedge, you know, if you're in the fairway. Yeah. In this situation with the upslope and, and where you're at, what club do you have? Yeah, so I've got a nine iron for this. Um, so I think what people don't, you know, some people don't realize is if you're hitting off an upslope, that automatically changes the loft of your club as well. I mean, the ball's gonna launch higher, it's not gonna go quite as far, it's not got as much forward momentum, it sort of goes more up. So again, you know, take a little bit more club. And then, you know, I always try to really make sure I swing with the slope. You know, I, I try to get my my shoulder angle sort of at the same at the same angle as the uh, as the slope. And then just from there, if if you know, if you're set up that way just try to stay in that position and then just try to make a nice sort of smooth swing. Do you feel like you're picking it more yes. than, than, than if you're in a flat? Yeah, I mean, I try to pick most fairway bunker shots anyway, but 
especially something like this, the last thing you want to do is, is try to drive it and dig because it's just not going to come out the way yep. you want it to. Let's, uh, yeah, talk us through one and... So get in there, choke up a little bit in the club, get my, get my shoulders and my spine angle sort of the same, you know, perpendicular to the slope. And then from there, I just try and swing with the slope and get it up. Nice. And that's actually the, like off and up slope, the ball wants to go left, mm -hmm. you know, so that's always something to think about as well. Maybe from an up slope, maybe aim just a touch right because that's What do you the, think that is? Do you think it's because it's it's farther up in your stance maybe? Yeah, you're sort of catching it maybe a little later in the arc. Yeah. Um, and I think as well, the more that you're, the more that you're on your right side, the, the, the shallower you're going to want to take it away and, and that sort of gets the club going inside a little bit and then it's sort of, you know, it's a, it, the shallower you are, the more it's going to be attacked from the inside as well. So you're always going to Let's say you're in this left. bunker in this situation and you're, you know, you're 210 yards out. Yeah. How do you kind of judge what club you can get out of it? Yeah, it's, um, you know, I'll always just, I'll just go into the bunker with the, the least amount of loft I think I can get over it and I'll stand over it and I'll look and I'll, I'll sort of just feel it. And if it's just, if it's borderline, and I'm like, I think I can, but I, you know, I'll just, I'll go and just take. So if I, if it's a 210 and I get in there with a five iron and I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I'll always just go and hit the six. If it's borderline, will, will you ever open the face up to help yourself a little bit? Yeah, in some situations, yes. But then I feel like if you open the face up, you're basically, you're taking distance off it anyway. So you know, I'd rather just go and take one last club and and, yeah. and hit it square and, and and swing, you know, fully committed at that. And, you know, fully accepting that if it comes up shorter at the front edge of the green, that's fine. Yeah. So.